welcome back i am pratap here today is 17th november 2023 and today is also end of the week so in this report i will be generating weekly reports daily reports 75 minutes and 15 minutes time frame reports before we generate demand and supply zones let us evaluate the performance of the high liquidity zones generated in our yesterday's report the first one is uh, dr reddy this is from uh, daily high liquidity zones report so the stock is uh, at to reach into this uh, our fine tuned 75 minutes zone inside 75 minutes we have fine tuned uh, 15 minutes or 5 minutes time frame let's let me go to the 75 minutes time frame so here we have identified a 75 minutes we have a rally candle base candles and then drop with gap but remember this 75 minutes zone is already tested once that's why we should be a little bit careful about this zone i'm not sure how much success it will give but there is an origin if anybody would like to take a risk so you can take a trade and the next one is uh, india cements so prices uh, did not enter into this zone so we did not get the entry and the third one is uh, zydas life sciences so here also prices did not entered into this 75 minute zone we have fine tuned let me show you in the 75 minutes time frame so here we have a 5 minute zone but uh, here also a little above we have a trap this is a bull trap so we did not get the entry in this zone so we did not get uh, any entries from our dailies because we found only three high liquidity supply zones from this uh, yesterday's daily report so none of them uh, got triggered now let's look into the 75 minutes zones the first one is a bajaj finance this is a 75 minutes time frame so prices did not reach into this zone so we did not get the entry and next one is lupin here we got the entry so this is the 75 minutes zone recommended by the software this is a high liquidity zones on 75 minutes time frame so i have find you at the 15 minutes level i found this zone excellent zone today we got the entry and also 15 minutes target it reached today so at what time it reached at 11 o'clock even before also there is a first entry at 10:30 candle 15 minutes candle again 11 o'clock candle and the last again another opportunity at 11:15 candle thereafter a push it down down and at 12:15 candle the last candle is 11:15 and thereafter 12:15 candle it reached the target and it has given a profit 13005 rupees profit which is 7.19% return on the investment so this is a 15 minute supply zone and this is the 15 minutes demand zone is the target because we have already seen our high liquidity zones most of the high liquidity zones they reach 15 minutes target during the intraday itself that is the power of the high liquidity zones the same concept we are applying for 75 minutes because 75 minutes high liquidity zones also they are very strong but i should define a proper strategy for this 
like we have defined for uh, daily high liquidity zones but time being you can take directly at 75 minutes zone if the risk is high the sometimes 75 minutes zones risk are very low if that is the case you need not find tune if the risk is very high because this 75 minutes is having high risk so that's why i find you at 15 minutes level and then we have taken the trade do not apply the daily high liquidity zone strategy as it is here if you are applying most of the times you miss the entries or uh, <clears throat> it may not be as rel reliable as uh, the strategy we applied for the daily time frame high liquidity zones daily high liquidity zones are most reliable high liquidity zones and remember 75 minutes high liquidity zones at least two or three test minimum you get success after that we don't know when it is going to fail but i need to work out on this to find a right strategy for 75 minutes zones and 15 minutes zones are purely luck based that's why i'm not looking into the trades because most of the time the location plays the major role to get a very good success for 15 minutes time frames that is the reason why i'm not evaluating those zones they will work but you have to take blind trades maybe two times or three times they will give success after that fourth time or maybe fifth. sometimes we have seen 15 minute zones they worked even seven times eight times nine times also we never know when they fail but the risk will be very minimal at 15 minutes time frames level if you are if you are if you are following a very strict risk uh, reward management you can look for the trades but let us always dependent on daily high liquidity zones because we have a proper strategy some extent you can rely on 75 minutes high liquidity zones at least one or two times minimum guarantee they will give 75 minutes i know there are some sometimes the fresh zones also will fail even in daily time frame or even 75 minutes but those things happen rarely so okay, but we got a very good success for the lupin and the next uh, and and uh, these are all the stocks generated from the previous uh, previous report but the earlier last week's zones few zones some interesting things happened not related to the trades they are violated why they are violated there are reasons those reasons i explained earlier so once again in case if anybody did not attend our earlier uh, lesson or if you missed if you are a newly joined subscriber at least know the reasons already there is a video that explained when a high liquidity zone will fail the classic example is sbi life let me go to the 75 minutes time frame even before daily time frame see today how this high liquidity zone is violated do you know the reason i explained the reason in yesterday itself i don't know how many of you watched yesterday's video yesterday the zone is not violated why we looked into this stock yesterday because the previous report displayed the price is near to this high liquidity zone that's why yesterday we analyzed this stock in case if you did not attend yesterday's video please refer Three minutes thirteen thirteen seconds in our yesterday's video. This is the timestamp. Three minutes thirteen seconds in our yesterday's video. I clearly said this zone will be failed. I also told one more reason. There are chance. There are one more chance is also there when this zone may not fail. If institutions create a new supply again within this zone at seventy five minutes level. at the time this zone won't fail otherwise this zone will fail that is what i explained yesterday see today what happened the prices easily passed through this zone go to the 75 minutes 
Why, we, why I told you yesterday this zone will fail? Because this 75 minute zone is already tested. Prices went inside this 75 minute zone. And also I said this 75 minute zone is not a high liquidity zone. Daily is high liquidity zone, but 75 minute is not high liquidity. So it does not support multiple test. Because it is not high liquidity zone. And there are no more 75 minute zones inside this. Easily it can fail. Okay, this is uh, what about. And another thing is uh, HDFC AMC. How many, how much profit we got from this zone? So much. And finally there is an end. And today HDFC AMC supply zone is broken. Let me go to the daily time frame. This is the one fail. But when there is a failure, we should also evaluate the reasons. There should be a proper reason for failure. Because you should learn when a zone fails. That is what I explained in one of the videos earlier. So observe this. In case if you missed earlier video, observe here. This is going to be a very good lesson. This 75 minute zone. This is only the most recent available. But if you observe, this 75 minute zone is already tested once. See here. We have a rally candle, we have a base candle, and we have a drop candle. RBR. Because it is RBR, the high of the rally candle is the distal line. The RBR rules we followed and drawn this zone. After that, prices went and again go back and test it. Okay, now what we have to do when it is already tested, maybe we can look for a deep entry or a fresh 15 minutes or 5 minutes zones. But go to the 15 minutes and 5 minutes time intervals. Is there any origin in this zone? I wanted to find. This is the structure of the price action here in this zone. There are no proper zones. I thought it, it looks like a rally base drop, but this drop candle is a big questionable. The quality of this candle is not good. But here we have a drop base drop is there. But this drop base drop, all the orders are already consumed previously itself. And there are no good 5 minute supplies within this zone. Look here, look into this price action. It is a normal price action. There is no good leg out candles anywhere here. So it is a normal way the price came. The only chance is we have a drop base drop, but here, this is not a very good because already all the orders are consumed in these candles. Generally, what happens after drop based drop, the price should sharply it should go down. But consumed the orders and then prices went down. So that is one reason. And previously, maybe we can consider this. Even below this, institutions created. Maybe you can, it is not exactly looking like a legging candle because narrow candle. Still, if you want to consider this is a legging because legging can be a medium size, but it is a little smaller than medium. Even then, if you want to give importance, then we have a legging, we have a base, and then we have a drop. But these orders are already consumed in this particular candle. So we can't rely much on this. A lot of price action took place previously here. So that's why this 75 minute zone is not a good quality 75 minute zone to take the trade. You didn't have a proper origin available inside this. See, always remember, always I use the word origin. Origin is the most important. The origin is the place where the actual order flow is started from institutions. Mostly you find such kind of origin at very lower time frames like 15 minutes or 5 minutes, sometimes even 1 minute or 2 minutes. 
you will, you will see by seeing the structure of that particular zone you feel yes there is a real order flow started from here we didn't have any such kind of things inside this zone and moreover this zone is already tested once this 75 minute zone is already tested it is not a fresh zone even if you want to go deep and if you want to take an entry in the deep the price structure is not good that is what we have seen here the deep that is the second half of this zone above this if you divide this zone into two parts look into the above the second part this none of this price action is not at all a convincing price action so today finally this 75 minute zone is broken and it was already tested once here it is tested and today the prices and the rest of the place there is no proper structure and easily the prices went up went up and finally this entire zone is broken because there is no more 75 minute zone above this so let me show you the 75 minutes time frame there is no more 75 minute zones so here we have a very good leg candle is there but there is a base candle base candle base candle base candle base candle base candle so many base candles that means there is no institutional supply in this area even above this that's why easily the price went and finally the high liquidity supply zone is broken but still the high liquidity demand zone is valid we have a fresh demand zone here we have a drop base rally this is 75 minutes inside high liquidity demand zone so next time again prices come into this we have a possibility from here prices again will go up but now the supply zone but this is the one see how many trades it has given so many trades nearly eight or nine trades successful trades we got in this zone during this month and finally it is broken so rest in peace because we have to respect because it has given so much profits all this race okay this is about hdfc and one more thing to be honest not expected but and i see i see i see yesterday it has given a minimum profit and today it is broken yesterday this the reason why i i didn't expect maybe there are chances yesterday itself it has given one indication what is that one indication after the high liquidity tested we got a very minimal profit generally what happens we get a good profit like uh, at least uh, 5.5 6% or 7% but yesterday it has given a very uh, low profit i see 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 yesterday it has given only 4.56% return on the investment in our yesterday trade and moreover this is already tested that could be one reason it is broken today but i thought there is more order flow because this structure is looking similar to hdfc amc structure we have seen earlier at the time hdfc hdfc amc has given nearly four trading opportunities with similar kind of structure i thought that will repeat but the doubt the first doubt i got yesterday hdfc amc what happened each time it is tested the prices went very sharp down it has given more than 7% return on the investment but that didn't happen because there is a demand zone holded the price that should not happen especially in high liquidity zones if the supply zone is a high liquidity zone demand should not hold this demand is inside this supply zone and which hold it yesterday let me show you in the 15 minutes time frame see yesterday it hold the prices here that is the time i got the doubt even end of the day at least it should have been broken it didn't happen then i got a first indication there is something wrong in this stock 
So anyway, this zone is tested yesterday. There are higher chances it will broke because the demand is still holding. And today, see, the institutions created a new demand from here with a gap. With a gap, the prices went up from this demand zone, 15 minutes demand zone. Maybe we can say this is like a pro gap from here. If the gap is started from, it is away from the demand, we generally consider it is a pro gap. Pro gap happens two scenarios. The one is first time when a zone is created, the leg out with a gap. The second scenario, when prices retraced and the moment the prices entered into this zone and after that prices move up with a pro gap. That is the second scenario. And this whole supply is wiped out in just in one candle. Such a strong demand we have seen. So this is the way ICICIJ is broken. The reason why I am showing this stock, even though we got it is a tested zone yesterday, the reason why I am showing, because earlier we, had, we thought this zone is going to give multiple opportunities because the structure was looking like similar to HDFC AMC structure which has given nearly four trading opportunities earlier. But at the time, you should also know in what kind of scenario such kind of structure will fail. That is your learning. What is the learning here? The demand, the 15 minutes demand zone that is hold at the prices yesterday. Generally high liquidity zone, what should happen? It should push the prices down. It didn't happen yesterday. Maybe we got profit, that is a different question. Getting profit is not only the important point we should look for. How we got that profit? Have we got in a convincing way or we got in a tough situation? In a tough way we got this profit yesterday. We struggled a lot in getting. Even though it is a good profit, above 4.5%, but still it is not our expected level. And moreover, in a high liquidity zone, a supply in a high liquidity supply zone, a demand is holding the prices, which is not a good scenario. And that result we have seen today. So that's why always you have to remember. See, most of the people think if I know the uh, entry, I know the target, I know the stop loss, that is enough. This is what most of the people will be thinking like that. That is not right. Knowing those details does not help you at all. There are situations, the price action will change those parameters. Stock market is not static. By giving entry, stop loss and target, SET set. Of course, you do position sizing for your risk management, that is a different thing. But if you know the first three parameters, SET, and if you are thinking that, okay, I can do the trading, that is not at all correct. Most of the people will tell, you know this and you can do the trading. You just set in your system, you just forget it, set and forget, and you, and you get the profit or your stop loss will hit and it will uh, give you the losses. I don't agree with that statement at all. We are not fools, right? If there is a, there is a higher chances of getting losses, how to get out of that? That is also important. That is survival. And your target, sometimes your target may not be reaching. You should not wait. You should know when to exit even before that. Couple of trades during last week we did like that. And prices, what happened instead of reaching, we got a short trades, couple of short trades during last week. Prices did not reach our target. But we didn't wait for that. We looked into the price action clues. How we looked into the price action clues? A new demands were created. When a new demands are created, immediately we alerted. We alert ourselves. Then we decided next time price retraced back to the demand zone. We exited there instead of waiting for our original uh, target. And if you are saying I will set and I will forget that. Uh, the, uh, then you would have got loss on that day. But we got profits. The reason is, we set up, but we did not forget. We've been watching the market. Because markets are dynamic. Anytime they can change. 
its price direction price direction is very very important that is the reason why in our software i have introduced one parameter price direction that is a very high uh, what to say uh, high valued parameter in our software the price direction understanding the price direction is very very important those who are thinking set and forget please remember that is not a right way of trading set and forget does not work every time sometimes set and forget will give you losses but we can get rid of those losses if you don't forget your trade when you don't forget when you are monitoring your trade why we have to monitor because stock market is dynamic it is not static this is one classic example that explained how there is something see yesterday is this demand zone hold at the price most of the times you have seen the price reach our target after that again the second iteration or third iteration the zone will fail and further it will go that indicates the strength of that supply zone but that is not happened for this particular 15 minutes demand zone and moreover it placed well in the middle of this high liquidity zone all these are all negative parameters all these points you have to keep in your mind when you are analyzing the stocks that's why i always say every person should learn demand and supply zone price action just seeing the results from the scanner blindly if you are taking trades it won't work first you have to learn the fundamentals that's why in the training program i am teaching right from the fundamentals many points you maybe some of you completed the course demand and supply zone course many points you haven't learned from your earlier courses that is what some of the people are saying in the comment section they've been trading for the last 4 years or 5 years or 6 years by using supply and demand zone they land but today they are saying when we are looking into these training lessons we are learning new points why they are learning these points because i am always looking into the market from the dynamic point of view not from the static point of view most of the demand and supply zone trainers they will teach you the concepts from the static point of view and i am against to that point always you have to look the market from the dynamic point of view because in the last 21 years in the stock market in my analysis i have seen so many different situations not only supply and demand zone so many other concepts i been looked into earlier but i know finally i realized this is the best concept that is a different story but your learnings from your earlier earlier concepts always helps you the moment i learned the stock market concept some 21 years back after few years i realized market is always dynamic we should not look for static all the people who were giving recommendations they are all static it is like set and forget people always keep following those recommendations on that particular day market is suddenly changed and you will see a failure of those recommendations that's why i never suggest to go for any recommendation just look into the zones if the zones are changing dynamically then you should be in a position to change your decision when you will be in a position to change your decision if you learn the fundamentals in a proper way you will be in a position to take that's why when i am providing my training i am trying to change the mindsets of the traders so that they think in a dynamic nature that is what in the foundation the first part of our training program which we are recently completed currently the practical sessions are going on i want everybody should think in the dynamic way while learning your fundamentals if your fundamentals are very strong rest of the concepts you can learn easily the second phase of the training program i am sure whoever completed the first phase of the training program with the dedication who listened each and every point i explained who repeated some of the video second time third time i am sure 
they are going to be the most successful traders i want everyone should be like that it is not a great skill at all it is just a part of learning or building the skills or understanding how to think in a dynamic way why i am giving all these examples i just say okay this zone is successful or this zone is failed and then i can close the session but why i am trying to give so much of explanation because at least i want to make you people think in a different way that is my intention behind giving all this explanation think in a different direction i always say think in out of box don't mug up the concepts you have to understand the concepts you should find the roots behind those concepts that is what i tried it during this training session in all these training videos i try to get into the roots levels of those concepts and from there i provided my explanation and those who learn the concepts from its roots they understand the market dynamics in a proper way anyway i will be explaining these uh, concepts in the last training uh, lesson of the first phase that is lesson 10 that is a motivational session and i sh i must tell for a, i must tell to everyone how to learn the subject in a proper way learning is not important anybody can learn but learning in a proper way is important anyway i got an opportunity to tell you those points a little advanced because icici lombard is such kind of a stock see the dynamic nature yesterday itself it has given a clue the first clue you know high liquidity zones are they are very powerful if a demand zone that to at lower time frame 15 minutes level if it is holding the prices means there is something wrong is going to happen to that zone they are getting profit is not important yesterday we got the profit that is not important what is important it has given some clues and identifying those clues understanding those clues and sensing the market movement based on the clues is very important so easily this zone is broken finally so this is about some i hope you had some learning from this sbi life hdfc amc and icici these are all the old stocks we been following for the last more than a week but if you look into our yesterday trades we got a success trade only from lupin and remaining did not triggered there is no failure only one success triggered and reached the target and which has given 9000 sorry 13500 rupees profit which is 7.19% return on the investment that is 15 minutes to 15 minutes zone now let us get into the generation of demand and supply zones so in today we are generating weekly reports daily reports 75 minutes and 15 minutes i will give you i will give you the uh, time stamps in the in this video description so whichever time frame you want to refer you can click and you can directly get into that section and the first one is a weekly entry time frame is weekly let us find the stocks which are near to the weekly demand zone these four stocks are near to the weekly demand zone so let's go back entry time frame is weekly let us find the stocks which are near to the weekly supply zone so these 10 stocks are near to the weekly supply zone remember there are some pos zones you should not trade you should not take trades if a stock is pos but remember you can use that as a help to find your bull traps and bear traps i already explained in several videos 
please go through the earlier videos so let us go back for entry time frame weekly let us find the stocks where price closed inside weekly demand zone this is the filtered list So total 21 stocks are filtered where price closed inside weekly demand zone. Let's go back. Entry time frame is weekly. Let us find the stocks where price closed inside weekly supply zone. So many stocks are there. I will keep on scrolling down. Whichever the stock you want to refer, just pause the video. So total 63 stocks are filtered where price closed inside weekly supply zone. So let's go back. Entry time frame is weekly. Let us find the tested zones during this week. This is the tested demand zones. So three weekly demand zones are tested during this week. Let's go back. Entry time frame is weekly. Let us find the tested weekly supply zones. This is the filtered list. So total 27 weekly supply zones are tested during this week. Let's go back. Entry time frame weekly, let us find newly created weekly demand zones. So this is the filtered list. These stocks are having a newly created weekly demand zones. So total 29 weekly demand zones are created during this week. So let's go back. Entry time frame is weekly. Let us find newly created weekly supply zones. Only three weekly supply zones are created during this week. So let me generate demand and supply zones for all the weekly time frame for your reference purpose. Entry time frame is weekly. This is the complete list. I keep on scrolling this list. Wherever you want to, whichever the stock you want to refer, there you please pause the video. So this is the complete list of uh, demand and supply zones for the weekly time frame. Now let's move on to daily report generation. So let us generate demand and supply zones for the daily time frame. But daily and below, that is 75, I'm generating only the stocks near demand and supply zones. And Generating demand and supply zones based on the bullish setup and bearish setup. That is what we are doing for the last two days. So entry time frame is daily. Let me find the stocks which are near to the daily demand zone. So these three stocks are near to the daily demand zone. We have one high liquidity zone, Asian paints, which is a fresh zone. and sideways trend for uh, daily and weekly. Monthly is uptrend. So let me go back. Entry time frame daily. Let me find the stocks near to the daily supply zone. 
So this is the filtered list. Three stocks are filtered. So we have three high liquidity supply zones. Oh, but third one is pierced. So you can ignore this stock. Burger Paint is at resistance supply zone, which is a fresh zone. Apollo Hospital is also at resistance supply zone, which is also a fresh zone. These two are high liquidity zones. Okay, now let us generate based on bullish setup and bearish setup. And why I'm generating these setups? Because some of the people who don't want to trade high liquidity zones. And probably you want to trade based on the fresh zones, whatever the concepts you land in, an, in your normal demand and supply zone theory. And if you want to follow as per them, only fresh zones. For such kind of people, you can look for the stocks based on bullish and bearish setup. That means you, you will not be trading against the trend. Because the high, in high liquidity zones, we don't care about the trend most of the times, most of the times. Because they work, because they have such a high liquidity, at least it will give you, even against the trend, during intraday, at least it will give you a good short-term uh, uh, return. During intraday, we are getting short-term return for high liquidity zones. So people who, who, don't, who don't want to trade, but you want to trade only whatever the old concepts you land, as per that if you want to trade, so these bullish and bearish setups I am providing. Because some people want such kind of stocks only. So entry time frame is daily. Let us generate bullish setup stocks. For that you have to select entry zone is demand. Bullish setup always you have to select demand zones. Bearish setup you have to select supply zones. And according to the bullish setup, the first rule is your HTF trend. Because this is daily time frame, HTF is monthly. The trend should be either uptrend or sideways. And your ITF trend, that is your actual trend, that should be, that must be uptrend because it is a bullish. Uptrend indicates a bullish. And daily, we don't bother because daily is the LTF. There you take the entry. So we have set the trend. And instead of location, I am... Selecting the parameter price direction. Why I'm not selecting location? Because price direction tells only the stocks moving towards the bullish direction. What is bullish? Up direction. In which time frame? HDF time frame. So that means prices should travel from HDF demand zone to HDF supply zone. When prices are returning from supply zone to demand zone, we don't want to take any long trades. That means higher time frame prices are falling. Of course, there will be reaction. Sometimes you get successful trades. But we don't want to take such kind of risk. That is the reason why we are taking the help of the price direction. Okay, price direction. What is that? We have two options. So one is a demand zone to supply zone. And another one is demand zone to all time high. Because some stocks, HDF stocks may not be having supply zones. That's why we are generating two reports. And when prices, which prices, your daily demand zone and supply zone, in between them, we don't want any weekly supply zones. That's why the weekly price direction also between demand zone to supply zone. In these two conditions, you want to filter the stocks. But you don't want pierced zones. Because we don't want pierced zones, we are selecting the pierced count. What is our entry time frame? Daily. So daily time frame, we are selecting peers to count as 0, 0. So finally, our zones, demand zones, which are not peers. Even if you want, if you want a fresh zones, you can set test count 0, 0 here. But why I am not setting is 0, 0. You take a decision because the report anyway it is showing whether it is tested or not. If it is tested, how many times it is tested? Because those who wants to trade by using uh, uh, high liquidity zones based on bullish setup, for those people, uh, 
uh, these high liquidity zones will be helpful to you. That's why I'm, I don't want to filter the tested zones. You manually, you filter from this list. So let me generate. So only three stocks are filtered. See, the first one is a fresh zone. Those who want to trade only fresh zones, you can go, but this is a normal demand zone. But it is a bullish setup. The second one is already tested. It is a normal demand zone. You can ignore this. Again, next one is a high liquidity zone. It is a fresh. So you can choose. You don't bother whether it is high liquidity zone or normal zone. You, you, what you want? You want a fresh zone, which is not tested or not having any rejections. And those who want a bullish setup high liquidity zones, probably they will choose this particular stock. And this is low on the curve. This next one is low on the curve. The first one is equilibrium. So your curve is also favoring. High on the curve also you can take a trade when prices are traveling from monthly demand zone to monthly supply zone, provide there should be a good risk reward. That is also generally what we say, High on the curve, we should not take trade, which trade long trade. But that is not true. You cannot take trade on high on the curve when prices are moving from supply zone to demand zone. But that variation, so if you don't land earlier, please remember. Because price direction, you might not have concentrated. That is a very important parameter. So these three stocks are filtered. This is the first report. Totally, we generate three reports for bullish setup. This is the first one. And so what is the second report? Our second report is changing the direction, price direction. Instead of demand zone to supply zone, sorry, on monthly time frame, instead of demand zone to supply zone, we are selecting demand zone to demand zone to all time high. And what about weekly? Weekly, we have two possibilities. The first possibility, demand zone to supply zone. And in the next report, demand zone to all-time high for weekly. We will generate both. We already generated first report. This is the second report for bullish setup. So total 10 stocks are filtered. And those who wants to trade only fresh zones, okay, look for zone having zero test count and zero rejection count. Select only such kind of stocks from this list. Very simple. And the curve is also there. You can look into the curve. And last two columns are risk and reward. Look into all these columns. LTF trend is your daily trend. ITF trend is your uh, weekly trend. HTF trend is forever a monthly trend. Everything is there in this report. So this is our second report. Now let us generate the third report for bullish setup. What is the third report? Now weekly also, we are changing, monthly already we changed demand zone to all time high. Weekly, now we are changing demand zone to all time high. Are there in this condition, are there any bullish setup stocks? So we got a big list. I'm scrolling down. So total 39 stocks are there. All these, most of these are all all time high stocks, even on daily time frame also. Very few stocks are having supply zones. But we filtered on monthly and weekly. So this is about bullish set of stocks for all the three reports related to the daily time frame. Now let us look into the bearish set of stocks for daily time frame. So entry time frame is daily for bearish setup. But because it is a bearish setup, you have to select supply zones for short trades. Very setup is for short trades. And what about your trend? Because it is a very setup, we should look for on monthly time frame. The trend should be either downtrend or sideways. 
but weekly it should be downtrend that's why it is a bearish set of stocks okay now where prices should travel because it is a bearish setup prices should travel from monthly supply zone to monthly demand zone so i am selecting for monthly time frame supply zone to demand zone prices should travel what about weekly the first condition what is the first condition because we have to generate three reports in the first report again supply zone to demand zone so both monthly and weekly prices are traveling from supply zone to demand zone we want such kind of stocks so only two stocks are filtered here but unfortunately both these stocks are tested those who are looking for fresh zones you didn't find but those who are looking for high liquidity zones you already identified one stock mutut finance but you should be very careful because it is already tested two times if there is any fresh 75 minute zone then only you have to look for this stock and this is a counter trend trading related because most of you are not aware of those concepts so don't get into this stock unless uh, you have complete knowledge on it i mean uh, confirmation trading not counter trend it is a confirmation trading okay now let us look into the next scenario second report in bearish setup what is second report from alt monthly time frame all time high to demand zones prices are traveling ath to demand zone and weekly we have two scenarios one is supply zone to demand zone and another one is all time high to demand zone we will generate one by one we didn't have any stocks in this scenario mostly next scenario also you may not find that is all time high to demand zone so we identified only two bearish setup stocks from all these three reports bullish setup we identified good stocks so you have to wait until prices reaches to the demand zone so this is about bullish and bearish setup for daily time frame now let us change our time frame to 75 minutes let us generate demand and supply zones for 75 minutes time frame entry time frame is 75 minutes let us find the stocks which are near to the 75 minutes demand zone so total seven stocks are filtered where price is near to the 75 minutes demand zone so let's go back entry time frame is 75 minutes so let us find the stocks where price is near to the 75 minute supply zone so five stocks are filtered where price is near to the 75 minute supply zone okay now let us generate bullish and bearish setup related stocks for 75 minutes time frame first let us start with the bullish setup related stocks for 75 minutes time frame entry time frame is 75 minutes and because it is bullish setup your entry zone should be demand zone because long trades bullish setup is for long trades so long trades always you do it's demand zone okay for uh, 75 minutes what are the htf itf and ltf for 75 minutes htf is weekly itf is daily and ltf is 75 minutes so that's why weekly trend it because it is a bullish setup weekly trend should be either uptrend or sideways but a daily trend must be uptrend for bullish setup and we don't bother about ltf trend on 75 minutes next what is the next one direction price direction what is our htf weekly so what is our weekly price direction so this is the price direction so for a weekly time frame the prices should travel from weekly demand zone to weekly supply zone so dz to sz for weekly time frame okay and daily also the price should travel from demand zone to supply zone so this is the first report for weekly 
a bullish setup sorry for 75 minutes bullish setup let us filter so we have identified five stocks but we forgot to PS to come. Luckily, no PS demand zones here, but still we have to set those parameters. We don't want PS to count. Which time frame we have to set PS for uh, 75 minutes time frame? Because that is the entry time frame. So 0, 0 PS to count. You will get the same list. So total five stocks are filtered. These are all the bullish setup. Those who are looking for fresh zones, look for the fresh zones and select only those stocks. Fresh demand zones because your entry is at the demand zone. Forget about the supply zones. Last two columns, you have risk reward. If all these parameters and also you have odd enhancer score. Remember, odd enhancer score is out of 15. If you want a fresh zone, remember the test count should be zero, rejection count also should be zero. So this is the first report. Let's go to the second report for bullish setup. Okay, in 75 minutes, the second bullish setup, what is the condition? Weekly should be Demand zone to all time high. And daily, again, you have to check two conditions demand zone to supply zone and demand zone to all time high. So, first we will check demand zone to supply zone for daily time frame that is ITF. Let us generate. So, two stocks are filtered. But both are tested zones. So, let us go back. Let us see the third scenario. What is the what is the third scenario? Because weekly already we said weekly is HTF. Demand zone to all time high. Daily also, it should be demand zone to all time high. Prices are traveling. All these are all all time high zones. For both monthly and weekly. Oh, sorry, for this is a 75 minutes. For both weekly and daily all these stocks are not having any supply zones for 75 minutes even some of the stocks are not having supply zones few are having supply zones so total 33 stocks are filtered for the third condition so this is about bullish setup all the three conditions we have generated now let's go back and generate for bearish setup for 75 minutes so entry time frame is 75 minutes. Now your entry zone should be supply zone because it is a bearish setup. And what about trend? Your HTF trend is weekly. That is either downtrend or sideways. But for daily, it must be downtrend because it is a bearish setup. And what about your price direction? For weekly, the price direction should be the first condition, prices should travel from supply zone to demand zone. Daily also, supply zone to demand zone. This is the first report for bearish setup in 75 minutes time frame. Now let us filter the stocks. All these are all 75 minutes bearish setup related stocks. Even Nifty Bank is also there in this list. But it is already tested once. It is not a fresh zone. Now remember, close inside the zone. CIZ means close inside the Z zone. That is also should be zero for a fresh zone. If all four parameters are zero, then you can consider it is a fresh zone. Rejection count should be, test count should be zero, rejection count should be zero. 
C A Z. That means close inside the zone should be zero. Anyway, P S R count should be zero. We already set that parameters. That is for supply zones. So this is the first report. Now let us generate this second report for very setup for 75 minutes time frame. What is the second report? The price direction weekly should be from sub from all time high to demand zone. ATH to demand zone price should travel. And daily we have two conditions. First condition supply zone to demand zone. The second condition ATH to demand zone. The second condition we will generate after this. So this is our second report. No stocks. Now ATH to demand zone. This is also mostly no stocks. So this is about 75 minutes time frame bullish and bearish setup related stocks. Now we have to generate stocks for 15 minutes time frame. Let us go to the 15 minutes time frame. So let us generate demand and supply zones for 15 minutes time frame. So entry time frame is 15 minutes. Let us find the stocks which are near to the 15 minutes demand zone. So total 8 stocks are near to the 15 minutes demand zone. So let's go back. Entry time frame is 15 minutes. Let us find the stocks which are near to the 15 minute supply zone. So these six stocks are near to the 15 minute supply zone. Now let us generate demand and supply zones for 15 minutes with bullish setup and bearish setup. So for bullish setup, entry time frame is 15 minutes. Because it is a bullish setup, our entry zone should be a demand zone. Okay, for 15 minutes, what about the trend? What is HTF? What is ITF? What is LTF? For 15 minutes, HTF is a daily time frame. This is the daily HTF. ITF 75 minutes and LTF 15 minutes. So you have to set trend for HTF and ITF. So our HTF trend should be either uptrend or sideways, but ITF 75 minutes trend should, should be uptrend because it is a bullish setup. Okay, what about price direction? For daily, the price should travel from daily demand zone to daily supply zone, DZ to SZ. Similarly, 75 minutes also, it should travel from demand zone to supply zone. So only we want such kind of stocks. So total 11 stocks are filtered for 15 minutes time frame. If your interest is a fresh zones, look for a fresh zones from this list. The demand zones. See, this is a fresh demand zone. This is also a fresh demand zone. This is not fresh because already candles closed three times inside the zone. And this is also fresh demand zone. I'm talking about those who are looking for fresh demand zones. But those who are looking for high liquidity zones, you have some stocks from this list. But bullish setup, high liquidity zones. Okay, this is the first report in 15 minutes high liquidity bullish setup. Now let us look into the second and third scenarios. Let's go back. What is our second scenario for HTF? What is HTF for 15 minutes daily? So are there any all time high demand zone to ATH, DZ to ATH? Okay, and 75 minutes two conditions. First condition demand zone to SZ, we will generate in this report. Next report demand zone to ATH. So we have identified only one stock. So let's go back. Let us generate the third condition. What is the third condition for 75 minutes time frame? Demand zone to ATH. So 
So total 25 stocks are filtered for this condition. All these are all all-time high related stocks for both daily and 75 minutes. But 15 minutes also, there are a good number of ATH stocks. All dark color, green color stocks. So this is about bullish setup stocks for demand zone. But one parameter we missed out, that is a PS count we did not set. So we have to generate again all the three reports once again. Or maybe if you can look into the reports, fine, but some, sometimes we will ignore, right? So save set, let me generate, nothing wrong. So now 15 minutes, zero, zero. We have to set PS count. Now let me generate all the three reports once again for bullish setup. So I have to change the trend parameters, so not trend. Uh, I have to change uh, price direction parameters. Daily should be demand zone to supply zone. 75 minutes also demand zone to supply zone. This is the first report, 10 stocks filtered, where demand zones are not pierced for bullish setup for 15 minutes time frame. So let me go back. Second scenario. What is the second scenario? For price direction, for daily from all time high to demand zone, 75 minutes demand zone to supply zone. No stocks are filtered because previously one stock filtered that is PS zone. And now third one. Oh, no, 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 no. It is not ATH to demand zone. It is demand zone to ATH. Sorry. Let me generate once again. Only one stock previously related. It is not pierced. It is not pierced. This is the second report. And the third report is price direction, demand zone to ATH daily. And 75 minutes also, demand zone to ATH. Now list is reduced to 25. So this is about bullish setup. Now let us look into bearish setup. For 15 minutes time frame. Entry time frame is 15. Now entry zone should be supply zone because we should go for long, short rates, short rates in bearish setup. And the trend also we should change. HTF trend is daily, either you have to select a downtrend or sideways and 75 trend should be downtrend for bearish setup. And what about price direction? The daily for first report daily should travel from supply zone to demand zone. 75 minutes also should travel from supply zone to demand zone. So total four stocks are filtered. Nifty Bank is also there in this list. This is bearish setup related for 15 minutes time frame. So let's go back. Let us generate the second report. What is the second report? Now daily, the price direction should be from all time high to demand zone. And 75 minutes supply zone to demand zone. In the next report, we will see ATH to demand zone. One stock is filtered. Currently, this stock is moving from all time high to demand zone in daily time frame. And 75 minutes, this stock is having both demand and supply zones. And 15 minutes also, it is having demand and supply zones. But remember, it is a high liquidity zone. So it is not a fresh zone. Let's go back. Now, third report. What is the third report? The price direction for 75 minutes also, all time high to supply zone. Sorry, demand zone. ATH to demand zone. Prices are traveling. No zones are available. So, these are all bearish setup, bullish and bearish setup for 15 minutes time frames. 
So we have generated all the three time frames daily, 75 minutes and 15 minutes. So before closing, I will generate demand and supply zones for all the stocks on daily time frame for your reference purpose. So entry time frame is daily. I am generating demand and supply zones for all the stocks. I keep on scrolling this list down. Whichever the stock you want to refer, you please pause the video and then you can study the parameters. So this is the complete list of demand and supply zones for the daily time frame. And this is the end of the report. I hope this information is useful to you for your further study and analysis. In case if you have any uh, request, I mean if you want uh, any reports based on your uh, uh, requirements. So please let me know in the comment section so that I can generate those reports as well. Thank you.